What's up, Wolf Packers? It's your Visco homie, Wolf Doggy Dog. Today, I've got the Wendigo Wave. Finally, we got the build a figure built. I'm going to take you guys into the studio and get this guy reviewed for you. I'll, I'll give you guys a quick walkthrough of the rest of the wave that was with it. Stick around. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's get to the studio. Back in studio, Wolf Packers. Before we get started, let me remind you guys to subscribe if you're new to the channel. Hit that like button if you enjoy this review and turn on notifications so you can be up to date on all our content. You can also follow our Instagram at the Wolfpack Toy Review. We post a lot of our toy hunts in the story section whenever we come across a new figure. And we'll also give you guys updates as to when a wave has just hit. So from left to right, we've got Cannonball with the right leg, Sinister with the left arm, Wolverine with the head, Nightcrawler with the right arm, Guardian with the torso, and Boom Boom with the left leg. I know what you're thinking. Wolf Dog, there's no Boom Boom. I actually gave her away to my buddy, uh, Fanatic57. Check him out on Instagram. He's got RC trucks that scale really good with Marvel Legends. So I gave him that one because, you know, give him a chick to drive his RC cars. He's also the utmost expert on Coral Reef. Check him out. You can actually even sell you a few. They're pretty dope. You should see his setup. There's the wave if you want to check it out yourself, one through six. With any wave, they can't all be hitters. Sometimes you're going to get a peg warmer. And Guardian was kind of that for me. Uh, not to not to knock Canada. We love Canada. But they, they could have done a better scope. Honestly, I think uh, the butterfly joints would have been deal breakers for me. Give them some butterfly joints, maybe some accessories and the powers. And then the, the paint wash was ridiculous on this. I mean, it's just like blah. It's like you you, you you painted this with your eyes closed. But that's that's the torso for Guardian. Cannonball. What more can we say about Cannonball that hasn't already been said? He's the first Marvel legend to not come with legs. Uh I, I get it. It's a it's a cool effect. You know, you can pose them in a bunch of different ways. It looks cool, but for the price point, it should have it should have come at a discount because you can't do anything but keep them this way. And this this pops off, so you know what what are you what are you gonna do with this? Looks like a am I gonna drink my beers out of here? I don't know. That being said, he does have a cool scope in the head, uh, a lot of detail. Latches are chrome and painted. The glasses are cool, and he comes with the right leg. Boom Boom's not here, so we can't talk about her too much, but she was the typical Marvel Legends female mold, and then she came with uh, a flame effect where she was shooting her cannonball. It was it was pretty cool, and then she came with alternate head scopes, kind of like Jubilee. Uh, she had one plane where she's wearing glasses, and another one where she's blowing a bubble and wearing glasses. Had we opened him up in time... He would have been a very solid candidate for figure of the year. There's a lot of good scope, a lot of good detail. Comes with alternate heads, and that's the right arm for Wendigo. Nathan Essex is a beast of a figure. I love his uh, shiny blue, metallic blue steel paint. The figure is dope. He's got the tassels kicking off. That, that face coat, man. It's like, I wake up at 3 a.m. in the morning. I see this. Oh, man, I'm going back to bed. And he comes with the left arm of Wendigo. Hey, bub. Thanks for sticking around for the review. 2018 saw six different Wolverines come out, 
And this one is probably in a tie for second, between second and third, between this one and Weapon X Wolverine. My number one favorite Wolverine for 2018 is definitely Cowboy Wolverine. We got different different claws. Uh, the paint wash, the paint scheme is pretty dope. It's uh, He's in the X-Factor. 2012 saw this fella here and it's it's a much it's a much needed update it's this is still a good figure but this is from the toy biz era as you can see the claws are kind of they're flimsy they're warped but we had toe articulation in this one we had hand articulation in this one it's a good it's a good comparison uh i definitely picked this one over this one but this is still a really good one and then he of course came with the head of wendigo this thing is freaky this looks like the the monster from the Twilight Zone, the movie. Freaky looking little thing. And there we go. We've got our Wendigo. The Wendigo stands just over eight inches. Call it eight and a quarter. If you don't know too much about the Wendigo, he was in the comic where Wolverine makes his first appearance. He's fighting the Hulk and, oh, we lost an arm. He's been fighting Wolverine too, apparently. Yeah, he, he, ma he makes an appearance in that one. He's also, if you ever played the old arcade of uh, Pride of the X-Men, He's one of the one of the characters, one of the bosses you fight in the elevator going down. A uh, longtime enemy of Hulk, Wolverine also fights uh, the Canadians up here in Alpha Flight. Speaking of Alpha Flight, it's the same body mold as Sasquatch. They they reused it and just gave him a white paint. Uh, Alpha Flight, of course, if you guys already know, is going to be getting its own wave. So I've got one of them. The twins are coming out. This guy's massive. I mean, just, uh, I've got the Sasquatch. He's still not opened. He's still not built yet, but uh, a head-to-head -head match with this guy would be great. Another one that they wanted to do was the actual first appearance matchup with Wolverine, Hulk, and Wendigo. Sadly, I didn't pick that one up because, like I said, there's been six different Wolverines this year, and I felt like I had enough. I felt like my wallet had enough. Plus, I've got three other Hulks besides this one that I would have bought. So adding a fourth Hulk would not have been good for my repertoire. Comes with a tail that Sasquatch did not come with. He's got his Wendigo tail. Thanks for sticking around to the end of the review. It really helps with the analytics. If you enjoyed the review, drop us a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and turn on notifications so you can be up to date with all our content. From the Wolfpack, deuces.